Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to detect a cycle in an undirected graph using BFS in C++. So I have an example right here and I'm going to show you with this how to detect a cycle in any undirected graph using breadth first search. So there's already a lot of articles and videos on how to do this, but I feel like everyone complicates it while writing code. So I'm going to show you with clean, nice and simple code on how to do this. I'll also give a link to the code in the description from there you can check it out and use it if you want. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run BFS, breadth first search, and I can run it from any node, it doesn't matter. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to run it from the zeroth node. Okay, so I'm going to run BFS from anywhere, but say from zero. And then I'm going to check each adjacent node. Example, zero, one, two, three are adjacent, right? So suppose I come from zero to one. So I check all of the adjacent node, and if I find any adjacent node is already visited, and it's not my parent, then there's a cycle. So how is it working? For example, I come at 1 and 1 adjacent I have 0 and 2. So I check 0. So 0 is adjacent and it's already visited. But it's also my parent. It's also 1's parent. So no problem. Now, I come from 1 to 2 and 2 uh, is adjacent I have 1 and I have 0. So 1 is already visited but 1 is the parent of 2. It doesn't matter. And adjacent to 2 is also 0 and 0 is already visited and 0 is not the parent of 2. Meaning that there is a cycle. So if I am to write down what I'm doing, then quite simply, if any adjacent node, so if any adjacent node is already visited, is already visited and not a parent, not the parent, then there is a cycle, quite simply. Okay, so that's it. That's all I'm doing. If any adjacent node is already visited and it's not the parent, then there is a cycle. So now let's see how to do this in code. So n is the number of nodes and I'm taking input from the user. So this is the user taking the input. So if you take this code, then you can use it on any graph with whatever graph you want. I'll give a link to the code in the description like I mentioned before. Okay. So then I'll need to create a adjacency list. So vector of int and I'll call it a j. Okay. And it'll have the size n. And then I need the number of edges, so I'll call it simply edges, input edges from the user. And then while edges minus minus, what are the edges? So while edges minus minus, so int u and v are connected. So u and v are the nodes connected in my edge. So input that from the user, u, v. And then in adjacency list of u, add v. Dot push underscore back, v. And adjacency list of v, add u. So adjacent to the V, push back, U. Okay. So as it is an undirected graph, if U and V are connected, then adjacent list of U will V will be there, and adjacent list of V U will be there because this is an undirected graph. Okay. So what else do I need? I need a visited array for running BFS or DFS. We need a visited array to keep track of whether it's visited or not. And even here, we're keeping track whether it's visited. So we need a visited array and we need a parent array. So let's create that. So visited array will have the size n because there's n nodes and initially all the visited will be zero. Zero signifying not visited, one signifying visited. And then we'll need a parent array. The parent array will also have the size so n and initially it will be minus one because right now no one has a parent, right? Only after we start the traversal, we'll get parents. Okay, now after I've created the graph, what do I need? I need a source to start the BFS from. So I'll make the source as 0 and I'll make the visited of the source as 1. So visited of source as 1 because as we're starting from the source, it's already visited. And source is 0 simply. Then what else do I need for BFS? I need a queue, right? So let me create that. So a queue, Q -U -U -E, Q-U-U-E, int, and I'll call it queue. Make things simple. Now, what do I do? I add the source to the queue. That's how we do BFS. And if you don't know how to do BFS, I already have a video on how to do BFS. And I'll give a link to it in the description and also in the top right corner. Okay, so queue.push source. And now, while queue is not empty, I'll keep running the BFS. So that's how we do BFS, right? So while queue is not empty. So while queue is not empty, what do I do? I take the first element out of the queue, right? That's how it works in BFS. So while queue is not empty, then int u 
is equal to q dot front the front of the queue and then pop it out of the queue so q dot pop quite simple now i check in the adjacency list of view like i said i check for adjacent nodes so for int v so how can i do that for int v in the adjacency list of view the adjacency list of view and this is a for each loop I hope you already know how for each loop works, but it's quite simply v is taking the, all the values in the adjacent list of u. And in adjacent list of u, what do we have? We have the adjacent node. Quite simple. Now, here's what we do. So if visited of v is equal to 1, meaning that v is already visited, and parent of u is not equal to v, meaning that v is already visited and v is not the parent, then there's a cycle. So to keep track of whether there's a cycle or not, I'll simply have a flag. So end flag is equal to zero. Zero meaning there's no cycle, one meaning there's a cycle. So if there's a cycle, I'll make flag is equal to one signifying cycle. Okay, and then I can simply break. Because there's a cycle, we don't need to do anything. We can just stop the BFS right here itself. It doesn't matter. Else, or uh, we don't even need an else. I can just leave, simply say if visited of v is not equal to 0, if not equal to 1, meaning that v is not visited. Then we'll simply make it visited because we're visiting it for the first time. So visited of v is equal to 1. And now parent of v will be what? u. Because v is not visited. For example, uh, here I can, came from 0 to 1. 1 was not visited, meaning 1's parent was 0. So that's what I'm doing. So v is not visited, parent of v will be uh, u and visited of v will be 1 and I'll also push it to my q. So q dot push v. Quite simple, right? And that's it. That's pretty much it. So this was a simple BFS in the next if and in the front if I was just checking if uh, visited of v was 1 and the parent of u was not v. So that's it. And then I can simply print if flag is 1 then see out cycle else see out no cycle okay and yeah let me just remove this extra space now let's try to run it hopefully there will be no errors Okay, so now let me try to create this very graph. So in this very graph, what are the number of nodes? Number of nodes are five. Let me write that, number of nodes are five. Number of edges are also five. Zero and one are connected. One and two are connected. Zero and two are connected. Zero and three are connected. Three and four are connected. So there's a cycle, like it's showing. Now let's try to run it without a cycle. So on a graph without a cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this edge. So if I remove this edge, there will be no cycle, right? So let's do that. The number of nodes are still 5, but the number of edges are what? 4. So 0 and 1 are connected, 1 to 2 are connected, 0 to 2 is not connected. 0 to 3 are connected, 3 to 4 are connected. And no cycle, because right now this edge is broken, so there is no cycle. So that's it guys. That was quite simple, like uh, without using object-oriented programming in a structured approach. And if you want to create a function of this, simply put this code in another function and uh, there you go. That's it.